Praise the Lord. You know, as you read your Bible, sometimes you get surprised how the people of Israel and their leaders, they're used to having their regular service every Sabbath day, and then Jesus showed up. And when Jesus showed up, he began to do things. People that had withered hands, they stretched out their hands, and they were healed. And the people that were impotent and maimed, one part missing in their body, the Lord began to supply the missing parts of their body. Who oh, they said, this is Sabbath day. The Pharisees and the Sadducees, Sadducees, sad you see. They were always sad because they were watching over their tradition. Something like that never happens on a Sabbath day. And Jesus turned the tradition upside down. And he turned the lives of the people right side up. Yeah. Praise the Lord. It's going to be celebration day. Yeah. You will see Jesus. As savior, as healer, as deliverer, as provider, I came to see Jesus. Anybody there? Tradition under your feet. Life, signs and wonders and miracles coming your way right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, today. What a glorious day. We surrender our heart, our life, everything we've got to you today. And we pray, do you everything that ought to be done. And Lord, nobody is going to go out of this place until there is a transformation. Until there is a deliverance. Until there is total redemption. Open our eyes, our ears, our heart. Make your people to see Jesus today. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Before you sit down, everybody said, Thank you very much. I release you to sit down now. I'm going to go to the Old Testament and we're looking at the proclamation of Jubilee Freedom. Freedom for you today. Freedom for your family today. Freedom for the church today. And freedom for our nation today in Jesus' name. The proclamation of Jubilee Freedom. We're coming to Leviticus chapter 25. I'm reading to you from verse 8. And thou shalt number seven Sabbaths of years unto thee, and seven times seven years. And the space of the seven Sabbaths of years shall be unto you forty and nine years. Verse 9, then shalt thou cause the trumpet of the jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month. In the day of atonement shall ye make the trumpet sound throughout all your land. And ye shall hallow, ye shall honor, ye shall reverence, ye shall exalt, set apart, sanctify. The fiftieth year, the fiftieth year, that's the year, and proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. It shall be a jubilee unto you, and ye shall return every man unto his possession, and ye shall return every man unto his family. Verse 11. A jubilee shall that fiftieth year be unto you, and ye shall not sow, neither reap that which groweth of itself in it, nor gather the graves in it of thy vine undressed. Verse 12 For it is the jubilee, it shall be holy unto you. And ye shall eat the increase thereof out of the field in the year of this jubilee. Ye shall return 
every man unto where his possession everything that has been taken away stolen away from you will return back to you great year the year of jubilee you are going to find in one of those verses i read verse 10 proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto the inhabitants all the inhabitants thereof because it is the year of jubilee and the lord had been giving them years of rest six years then the seventh year six years and then the seventh year until seven times seven 49 and in the year that follows that 49th year is the 50th year and it is the year of jubilee that is the understanding that is the concentration but i just want to show you what it means for you and what it means for me what it means for your family glorious time you are here today and this coming year is a year like no other year if you have cried all the years behind from this very day your tears are wiped away and you will find what the scripture says in fact if you read this whole chapter talking about the jubilee you're going to discover number one the fullness of jubilee revelation the fullness of jubilee revelation you read all through the chapter and it begins to take revelations and revelations upon what is called the year of jubilee number two the focus of jubilee reflection the focus of jubilee reflection as you think about the year and you reflect and you think and you meditate and then you focus on the reflection on the meditation of that jubilee freedom year then you are going to have quite a lot your life will literally begin to shine like a bright light number three the fulfillment of jubilee redemption the fulfillment of jubilee reflection the topic today is the proclamation of jubilee freedom the proclamation of jubilee freedom i'm going to start from number one the fullness of jubilee revelation let's come to chapter 25 for this leviticus again and look at it from verse 11 and begin to see the revelation the lord is giving us and he's saying when we talk of the year of jubilee this is what to expect for you for your children for your wife for your husband and for even your neighbors everybody around you and he's telling you that it's a time to forget the past and it's a time to bring the future into focus verse 11 a jubilee shall that 58th year be unto you and ye shall not sow neither reap that which grows of itself in the in it and nor gather the graves in it of thy vine of thy vine undress for it is the jubilee it shall be holy unto you and ye shall eat the increase thereof out of the field you will eat plenty this coming year scarcity is gone famine is gone and all living from hand to mouth that is over you are beginning a new life today a new chapter is opening up in your life in verse 13 in the year of the jubilee ye shall return every man unto his possession nobody will take what belongs to you and you know sometimes when i you know look at the word of god and then i say one two three or i say one two three four five six seven some people think that i'm making it up they say how does he always get one two three i'll show you here we're going to see number one the fullness of jubilee revelation when you think of fullness you think of perfection you're thinking of completeness you're thinking of 
everything complete in total nothing missing what do i see here i see the fullness of jubilee revelation number one is a year of rest number two is the year of return and reunion number three is the year of restoration number four is the year of redemption number five is the year of relief all pains gone all oppression gone that total relief is coming unto you hypertension not for the year of jubilee high blood pressure not for the year of jubilee you will rest and relax you'll enjoy the work of your hand it is a year of relief number six the year of reckoning and number seven the year of release and you are going to be released into the desire of your heart today number one number one is the year of rest look at verse four and verse five verse four and verse five in the seventh year shall be a sabbath of rest that's the word it's right there is a sabbath of rest unto the land a sabbath of for the lord thou shalt neither sow thy field nor prion thy vineyard that which groweth of its own accord of thy harvest thou shalt not reap neither gather the graves of the vine undress for it is a year of what a year of rest unto the land didn't you hear jesus when he brought the jubilee to us he says all ye that labor and are heavy laden come unto me and i will give you rest is a year once you come to know the lord your jubilee has begun and he says take my yoke upon you and learn of me because i am meek and lowly in heart and you shall find rest unto your soul for my yoke is easy and my body is light all that heavy yoke is now gone because the year of jubilee number one is the year of rest number two is the year of return and reunion you know families that have been scattered wife gone husband gone and then the children are gone and you don't even know where to find them and they have not even called you even on the phone or sent an email or text all these years this year those children are going to contact back with you and your wife that is gone run away that wife is coming back in jesus name because the year of jubilee is the year of return and reunion look at verse 10 verse 10 it says and you shall hallow honor respect reverence the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto the inhabitants thereof it shall be a jubilee unto you look at this and ye shall what's the next word return every man unto his possession and ye shall tell me the rest yourself return every man unto his family family reunion that's what i'm telling you that the year of jubilee is a year of return and the year of reunion look at isaiah chapter 60 verse 4 isaiah chapter 60 and we're reading from verse 4 here it says in verse 4 lift up thine eyes round about and see it says the year of jubilee is not a year to be looking down or looking back and sorrowful because a new day a new time a year of reunion has not begun lift up your eyes and round about and see all they gather together they come unto thee i said they come unto thee thy sons shall come from afar and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side they're coming back i said they're coming back because it's the year of jubilee is the year of return and the year of reunion number three it's a year of restoration the year of restoration we're back in leviticus chapter 25 leviticus chapter 25 i'm reading from verse 13 it says in the year 
of this jubilee ye shall return every man unto his possession look at verse 27 verse 27 and then let him count the years of the sale thereof and restore the overplus unto the man and restore the overplus unto the man you know how people they rob you to give themselves surplus you just have average and then they take your money they take your land they take your house they take your property they take the school that you establish and they take all the things that you live on and you put your capital on that thing and the lord said hey it's the year of jubilee all the things that people have taken away from you it's a year of restoration get ready they're coming back i said they're coming back you know those people that think that you know we have the power we have the honor we have the privilege and whatever we like we take because we are the people in authority and power and the lord said now you can rejoice because it's going to make all those people that you can anything away from you unlawfully is going to make them restore everything this year of restoration give me a good amen and then it says in verse 28 but if he be not able to restore it to him then that which is sold shall remain in the hands of him that has bought it until the year of jubilee in the year of jubilee it shall go out and shall return unto his possession and the people of god this is the year and this is the time we will possess our possession look at joel chapter 2 restoration